Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna go over why you can replace a single pole contactor with a two pole contactor. On my other channel, a lot of people give me a hard time when I do this kind of swap. They say, you can't do that. You can't change a single pole with a double pole. Well, let me first tell you why manufacturers use a single pole contactor instead of a two pole contactor. One, cost. It is cheaper to put a one pole contactor in than it is to put a two pole contactor. Just gonna give a ballpark, I'm not gonna say, $1.50 difference in price for a two pole to a one pole contactor. Adds up when you're making a lot of machines. They're not paying anywhere near the price that we would pay for them. So now this is why you can do it, I will show you. Right here is a single pole contactor in a Lennox unit. So, what we have here is our hot side. These are our two power wires into our machine. Now on the hot side, always hot side of the contactor here, these two red wires are condenser fan motors keeping the condenser fan always hot. Then in the back end, these black wires right here, this is a crankcase heater so that in cold weather situations, the compressor will start. Those wires come all the way down, in here, back up, back down, and then into the crankcase heater right over here. Then on the other side of the contactor, they made always hot the red wire for the compressor. That's this wire here. So the red wire for the compressor and then your capacitor, they kept always hot which is for the start on the compressor again, the yellow wire going to your compressor. Then your black wire is the only wire that's being broken when you energize your contactor. So then you're actually allowing your compressor to start. Your condenser fan is being operated off of this circuit board. It's not even line voltage for the fan setting for the speed. So now, what happens when you put a double pole contactor on this? So instead of one switch, you have two switches. Well, you still put both of these hot wires on the back end, which is always hot. Still put your crankcase heater on the back end so that these crankcase heater wires, the two blacks, are always hot. Now, you can take these wires and put them on the load side of the contactor and energize these only when your contactor pushes in for a call because it's not gonna change anything if these are always hot or if this two wires are only hot when energized because your compressor needs 240 and without this wire getting power, it's off anyway. So that is why you can change it because the only difference is then you have two switches here turning on and off. And this end, your low side, makes zero difference if it's hot or not. It's only for the compressor. So that's why on most units, they don't always have the fan wires hot in the back. The fan wires are coming off the front. But this style fan motor is not powered by line voltage. This is powered by a signal that is a low voltage signal. And then it's got the line voltage just always hot so it's that's what energizes it well i hope you guys enjoyed this video till next time i'm out like subscribe and i'll see you next time